Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another concealer for Concealer Week, and we're gonna be talking about the Kogendo Moisture Fit Concealer. Now, this is gonna be a second impressions of this concealer because I actually tried to film this video a couple days ago and I did the whole intro and then just completely forgot to do like a check-in and then a final review. Like I totally forgot that I was doing that that day. So weird. I still can't believe that I just completely like spaced out and forgot what I was doing. So if you're interested in seeing more information about this uh, Kogendo Moisture Fit Concealer and hear my review at the end of the day, which I'll remember to do this time, then just keep on watching. So Kogendo was actually kind enough to send this concealer over to me. I actually reached out to them and I said, I'm doing concealer week. I would love, love, love to be able to review your Moisture Fit Concealer. And they said, sure, uh, just let us know what shade you are and we'll send it over over to you. So thank you so much Kogendo for sending this over to me. Let's get into just some of the specs of this concealer. There are three different shades, a light, medium, and tan. I have the light 02. It retails for $39 and down in my description box I will link to this concealer where you can purchase it online etc etc. So anyway just to give you a spoiler alert because I have worn this for an entire day already that I really really love this concealer. It's very lightweight. It conceals, it blends in perfectly. I set one eye, I didn't set the other eye, and both sides looked great. So upon first impression, I am very, very impressed by this concealer. So we're gonna go through the whole thing again just to make sure it was not a fluke, and so you guys can see for yourselves how you like this concealer. So what I'm gonna do is apply it to one eye uh, just with my finger, and then we'll do like a comparison, a side-by-side -side comparison, and then I'll apply it to my other eye with a brush. So just so you know, it is nine, about nine o'clock in the morning, a little bit before, and uh, I've put on moisturizer, you know, I've cleaned and uh, washed and moisturized my face, and then I've put on the Kogendo Aqua Foundation in the shade 123. I have that all over, and that's it. I have no other makeup on. So let's go ahead and apply this concealer. Again, I'm gonna apply it just to my right eye, and it is a doe foot applicator here. And I'm just gonna swipe directly under my eye. Oh, before we do that, let me give you a little bit of a swatch here, just so you can kind of get a sense of the tone. So there's the concealer. It has like a hint of peach in there, which is nice if you need to do a little bit of like color correcting. Um, I don't have, I have discoloration around my eyes, but it's not of the very deep kind of blue purple uh, tone. It's just like a general sallowness. So the peach is really nice if you have like that that bluish kind of like veiny under eye, but it does also help my kind of sallowness just to kind of give me a little brightness. So this uh, shade works very, very well on my skin tone. You can see it brightens up my under eye, just a hint, you know, it's not too much, it's not too exaggerated, it just sort of brightens and lifts this whole area. And you saw how easy it was for me to just blend that in. I just kind of dabbed a couple times back and forth with my middle finger, and it's blended in. I'm just gonna do a close up here so you can see that it is very, very smooth. It just sort of like disappears on my skin. It kind of does what it needs to do. And then I'm not really left with too much tackiness. I don't feel like there's any product sitting on top of my skin there. It's definitely not emphasizing any of my fine lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it onto my upper lid. Uh, because again, I have that discoloration and I usually put some concealer there. And again, I'm just gonna use my finger and blend in. So there, again, blend it in quickly, seamlessly. I don't feel it on my skin. I don't feel like it's like sitting on top of my skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look dry at all. I don't think it's emphasizing any of my um, fine lines or, or texture or anything that I have all around my eyes. So with concealer, without concealer. And I wanna say in terms of a concealer that this has like a medium coverage. I feel like this is just kind of like a step up from just sort of like a kind of like a light serum -y kind of concealer. This is like a nice, I would say like medium coverage concealer. All right, so next I'm gonna use um, my favorite concealer brush of late. This is the Sigma P82. This is the one with the domed top and I've really been enjoying this for applying concealer. So I'm just gonna dab some onto the back of my hand here, and then I'm gonna pick it up with the brush, 
kind of work it into the brush, make sure I don't have any dollops or anything on there. And then pat that onto my under eye area. And I just like to dab and press as the concealer sets. And then I feel like if it needs to be blended out like along the edges, I'll just very, very lightly kind of use the brush to kind of blend it out. So there it is on the under eye area. And then I'm going to apply the rest to my lid. So there it is applied all over with a brush. So between the finger and the brush application, I don't see much of a difference. I don't really have a preference, but now that I have it on both eyes, let me go ahead and zoom in again so you can see uh, both of my eyes concealed. And again, I just feel like it looks really, really natural as far as concealer goes. It is medium coverage, doesn't look dry, it's not drying, it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't feel heavy in any way. I think it just really kind of like melds into my skin really, really nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this eye with some loose powder. I'm gonna leave this eye alone just so we can see if there's any difference. So I'm gonna go in with the Chanel Natural Loose Powder and I'm gonna try one of my new brushes. This is the Shiseido uh, Powder Brush and because this is like a flat um, squirrel hair brush, it's not really great for pouncing. I'm gonna use it to wipe away. So I'm gonna actually apply the powder with the powder puff and I'm gonna press it in. I'm gonna do the press and roll situation and then I'm going to uh, wipe away any of the excess with that squirrel hair brush. This brush is so soft. All right, so let's do a quick close up again. So again, this is the eye with powder without powder. And the only difference I see is that this side is just less shiny. I don't feel like it's made uh, my eye area look drier in any way or too powdery. It just looks more matte than this side. All right, so I'm gonna go about my day, obviously put on some more makeup, but I'm gonna try and avoid my eye area. I won't put on too much eye makeup because I really wanna see how the concealer performs without any sort of interference. So I'll be back in the early afternoon to do my first check-in and I'll see you then. <laughs> Hey there, it's about 2.30, a little bit later than I had planned to do my first check-in. So I've had this uh, makeup on for about five and a half hours now, and so I just wanted to show you where we're at with this concealer. So again, this is the side that I powdered. This is the side that I did not powder. I think the side that I powdered is holding up nicer, and this is a little bit different than the first time I wore it yesterday, where I felt like they look kind of the same. So. I don't know, maybe I prep my skin differently? I don't think so. So I'm taking a close look at my under eyes here. I feel like the side that I powdered, I feel like my lines are showing just a little bit. Nothing uh, too crazy. I don't feel like my lines look worse. <laughs> I just don't think that the concealer is doing or the powdering is doing any blurring necessarily. I think this uh, side without the powder in general looks a little bit nicer. I think it looks less dry and I definitely don't see any lines being emphasized. The only difference is I feel like um, this side has faded a teensy bit compared to this side. I think the powder obviously has helped the longevity of this concealer on this side. I do think though that this side without the powder looks pretty flawless in terms of my lines, in terms of dryness, in terms of any sort of texture or anything, there isn't any of that going on. There is a slight blurring there. I think that my under eyes look really, really nice. And even though it's faded a little bit, there's still plenty of coverage still there. I still feel like there is uh, a little bit of color correcting for that sallowness that I have. So right now I think I'm leaning towards the side without powder. So this is my five and a half hour check-in. I'll be back around dinner time to give you one last check-in and my final thoughts. I will see you then. <laughs> Hey guys, it's five o'clock in the afternoon. So I've had this makeup on for eight hours. And as I mentioned before, I had used this concealer once before. So this is really the second time I'm using it. And I'm coming to the same conclusion that I came to the first time I used it. And that is, I like it very, very much. I think this is one of those concealers that's like perfect for me. It's like everything that I'm looking for in a concealer. It doesn't have like super duper full coverage which to me just sort of equates something that's either thick or um, ends up being kind of drying. Anything with like a really high pigment will tend to do that. So I like ones that are just kind of like medium, maybe medium to full. They kind of do what they need to do without like 
overdoing it without making it look like I have like cake makeup on. So that I really like. I like the texture of it. Um, it's very, very smooth. It dries down and it's not tacky at all. I really love that. I don't feel like I have to powder this concealer. I also like the shade. So if you have a similar skin tone to me, shade um, 02 would be the one for you. I think it is a great match. I think it does just a teensy bit of brightening, a teensy bit of color correcting with that little hint of peach in there. I think it's just really, really great. So the side that I powdered, which is this side, I feel like the concealer hasn't faded at all but there obviously is a very matte look because of the powder and because of that matte look I feel like you can see a few of my lines under my eyes. I don't feel like it's um, accentuated at all. I don't feel like it's making my lines look worse than they are in reality. I just feel like you can see them. That there's no sort of like blurring over my lines, at least not after eight hours. The beginning of the day was much, much better. This side, I feel like you can't really see my lines under my eyes. I feel like they're camouflaged much more, but I don't feel like without the powder that the longevity was there. So I do feel like the coverage is fading over here a little bit, but it's fading very evenly. It's not like it's separated and done anything strange. It's just kind of like a natural fade over here. So the powdering will help with the longevity. I think I just kind of like the way my skin looks though without the powder. So I think it works either way. I just think it performs very nicely. So I am very happy with this concealer. So if you're enjoying this series, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions about this concealer, any comments at all, and subscribe before you leave. I would love that. And I'll see you in my next video.